what is it like to be me? I'm a bundle of sensations. Who is me in the poem? Come on, take a guess. Ms. Williams, what do you think? There are no right or wrong answers here. Poetry is subjective. Um, a deviant. Someone else. Think! Come on, use your imagination. Anyone. It could be anyone. Sometimes I'm a bundle of sensations. Chicks especially. <laughs> what is it like to be me? I'm a bundle of sensations. Can you see my urges? You're a drug addict. You're alone, struggling, and, uh... I like this park. I can be myself here, happy and gentle. And I'm calm here. <laughs> I like calm sounds. Like in the woods or by the water. The wind rustling the leaves. The movement of grass. The sound of waves and how the water sparkles in the sun. People find it hard to believe that I'm a spiritual person. But I'm more in tune with spiritual things because my world is silent and my heart is open. I often think in poetry. <laughs> The poems paint themselves. I want this feeling of peace to last all the time when my body feels connected to my mind and I don't feel lost. You know, I love golds. I think they're the, the smartest, friendliest dogs ever. Kind of meeting someone, you know, my girlfriend. Well, sort of. Like, we just started, like, seeing each other. Well, I've seen her for, for like, a long time, but we're just going out now. You know, like, we're supposed to get together after work, and, uh, but, um, <laughs> I'm a little nervous, man. <laughs> You know, like, fatuation, um, uh, new romance, uh, God, I sound like such a dork. So, uh, what's your dog's name? I can, I can pet him, right? Hey. I can't speak, but it doesn't mean my head is empty. If you wait and listen hard enough, you'll see. I have many thoughts and a lot to say. Uh, you're a good boy, aren't you? Of course, showing up with my dog gets people talking. That's his job, you know. And I always hope I can make my mouth say hi. Not today, I guess. And I wish you could see the real me. I'm more like you than not. I'm 
Sometimes I observe my life, but I can't always control it. People have to guess what I want and need, and I do want and need. I wish I could just tell you. I bet you think I'm antisocial. And that couldn't be further from the truth. It is a terrible thing to be present and yet invisible. I wish you were in my mind, or at least I wish you could read mine like I read yours. Ah, yeah, you're a good boy. So anyways, I'm a little bit early. That's okay. She, um, she lives in that house just right over there with the, uh, with the white garage. Oh God, you, you, you don't think I'm being too forward just showing up like this, do you? Like, like I'm no stalker or anything, but like, do I look too eager? <laughs> You're pretty funny. Is my mouth smiling? Look, look closely, my eyes are. And inside I'm laughing hysterically. You're more than too eager, dude. It's like you're possessed, rabid even. You're pretty funny, though, and I enjoy a good laugh like everybody else. Yeah, I know, funny. I am funny. I laugh more than you know. Sometimes when people don't understand me, their faces are really funny. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Can you see my urges? I can't tell you. I show you. Have you figured out who I am? Open your minds to the possibilities. Are you someone in a coma? No, you're a mime, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what? Like... <laughs> I'm a bundle of nerves and a jumble of thoughts. I, I got it. You're schizo, right? Right? <laughs> I'm in constant motion. My mind is always going. I'm in tune with some things, with all things spiritual. Hmm, maybe that's her. I'm trying, I really am. I want to talk to you and everybody. I'm friendly and I'm a good friend. I have a lot to say and I want to say it all. I wish people could know what I'm thinking and feeling and I'm sad and frustrated and angry because I can't share my ideas and thoughts the way you do. probably see me as someone who doesn't think at all. People think I'm different, but really, who am I different from? People are funny that way. They see the differences, I see the similarities. Now that's kind of funny. Just don't write me off as someone who doesn't think. I need you to believe in me. Or I might just lose faith in myself. So there she is. Hey, how do I look, buddy? Buddy? You called me buddy. Hey, wasn't expecting you so early. Oh, I, uh, I got here a bit early. Um, I hope you don't mind. I uh, decided to wait in the park and instead of on your front doorstep. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah? yeah. Right. <laughs> I had a report to finish up at work and well. Murphy's Law, we want to get away early. Yeah, no, I understand, completely. I'm trying hard to control my body, but it responds opposite to what I want most times. No one can see my inner struggle. When people give up on me, it makes it worse.
I'm working so hard to hold in the storm. I wonder what it's like to be you. Do you ever wonder what it's like to be me? You look good. Thanks. Yeah, yeah you too. So I'm really happy to finally uh, like actually be able to like, kind of get the time to spend with you. And well, uh, Is that I've been waiting. And <laughs> I am a time bomb waiting to explode. I'm a tear waiting to fall. Who are you, sir? Hi, Matthew. Hey, uh, you know this guy? You two have already met? Well, kinda, I guess. Hi, Matthew. Good to see you, Bailey Dog. Maddie and I were neighbors. We grew up together. We jog together when we can. <laughs> Good to see you, Maddie. How's your favorite dog, Bailey? <laughs> so cute. This, my friends, is not an addict. Not a mime. This is not someone having a nervous breakdown. And he's certainly not comatose. This is a beautiful poem, written by an intelligent young man who cannot be ignored, who must not be overlooked or misunderstood, and never, ever be underestimated. The poet's name is Matthew McCord, and he is my son. Maddie is 27, and he has autism. Do you wonder what it's like to be me? I am holding in the storm.